Hello there, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we will see how to remove the identity server from the no layer template. Let's get started. Let's first create a no layer template. I just did a video on how to create a no layer template uh, application. So if you go to my blog at blog.andersubash.com, you will see an introduction to no layer template. Um, I have explained and also made a video. So you can just copy a ABP command and paste it here. So if you want more explanations regarding what no layer template is, I will try to link a video in the description. Just check it out. It's a new template uh, provided by ABP. Uh, the template name is app no layer and then i have mentioned the name of the app as um, acme bookstore i will enter and then this will create our app just uh, make sure your uh, version is above 5.1.3 and uh, template name is app no layers i also have to mention this is an experimental um, template they have not made any promises on this so in case in the future releases um, if this is not available make sure the version of the cli is 1.35.1.3 now we have our application ready just open that in vs code and you have a data folder and in the data folder you have db context inside the db context you can see that we are configuring identity server here and so the first step i would say is uh, just go to the search and then search for identity server you have to make sure uh first to delete the migrations because the migrations are created with the identity server so let's go and delete the migrations we have deleted the migration we will recreate it don't worry about that and then let's go to the search and now we are just searching for the identity server in the entire solution so there are not so many places first is the package reference let's minimize this sorry uh, so for the package reference we have package from volo.abp.account.web and then identity server i would say let's just remove the identity server here and just convert that into volo.abp.account and here we have volo.abp.identity server and we have to remove that so project references are finished now go to the module in the module we have uh, a using statement we remove that and we imported the module we remove that and we are using the ef core module as well so in the uh, line number 60 you can see that uh, we have abp account identity server but we actually need account web so i would say just select and then uh, remove that exactly but here we can just take out the entire module because we need the account module it's just that we are removing the uh, identity server part of the account module and then come to the uh, users and then remove that and this is the logger configuration and more using statements in the db context and also configure identity server so now if you check out the search section here um there is actually no references of identity server now let's go and build our project so oh we are building our project it will determine the projects to restore and okay we have warnings but that's okay but there is no error first step is we have to create migrations i will go and do dotnet yeah migrations add in it so this is a normal ef migration command if you don't know what that is just go and check out the ef core migrations documentation it explains the ef core tooling now we have our migration build succeeded and my, our migrations are created you can come and see the init migration and you will see if you go to the bottom it will like show all the drop tables so then you know like what are the tables are actually available so you can see we have audit log table claims types entity framework property change features account links permissions roles security settings user claims so all the identity server related tables are gone we only have the basic um, identity tables and the abp tables this is good now next step is to run the migration and seeding so i can uh, close all and go back to the terminal and then type dotnet run migrate database this will create the database and seed the informations 
Okay, that ran successfully. And now to run that. Okay, our app is listening at localhost. Let's open that. Okay, the app is running. We can log in. I will try to log in with sorry, admin and the default password. Okay, I wrong I typed the password wrong. Now we have the admin pages, administration pages, tenant pages. Let's see if we can create the test tenant, test one, and this, okay. I'll just choose the email address as test at test.com and save. Yes, our tenant management works, feature management works, and edit edit also works uh, yes so this now has no dependency on um identity server we can still go to swagger and then check out all the uh, endpoints uh, the basic identity will take care of most of the things and if you come and check we are basically not using the identity server for anything in this uh, template it was just uh, provided as a default option uh if you, when you are doing a simple application and you don't uh, have any JavaScript applications with you and you can use cookie authentication, there is no need to use uh, identity server. Yes, it provides a lot of other features, but uh, for a simple app or a single layer app, if you're not doing anything enterprise um, application, this is a pretty well-defined structure. You can just use a normal identity and use cookie auth with your race of pages or MVC and then um, achieve most of the authentication needs without uh, identity server. Um, yeah, so um, this is a very small tutorial, but um, I thought it would be useful for some people. If you find it useful, just uh, give it a like um, and uh, subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, I will see you in another video. Bye-bye.